Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Uh, boy, look at here. We got a, a, a collaboration beer between Ale Smith and Cigar City. Two great breweries. I have not had a bad beer from Ale Smith. And Cigar City, I, I love just about everything they've done. I've only had one, maybe two of their specialty beers that wasn't super impressive. The cucumber beer comes to mind from Cigar City that I wouldn't really impressed about but most of their stuff is pretty damn tasty so two great beer companies coming together to do and this is their second collaboration together and this is their uh, Ramblin Rye which is a uh, American strong ale according to uh, Rate Beer but Beer Advocate calls it a uh, American Brown Ale and I'm leaning more toward that description or that beer classification than I am the uh, strong ale. Uh, this is an eight and a half percenter. This comes from San Diego from Serve All Liquors. Uh, website is craftcity.com. Check them out guys. I've mentioned them before in a couple of beer reviews we've done earlier and uh, they do some really good stuff out there. Over 1,500 craft beers in stock. Got rate beer and beer advocates uh, ratings on the website there that you can check out to make your decisions. And they ship beer and they ship it at a, a reasonable price. They don't gouge you on the shipping like a lot of people that ship beers out do. They, you can get a good price on the beer and then they want to gouge you for the shipping. So these guys do a reasonable job. They package it well. So uh, check them out. It's uh, it's. Uh, a good a, a good asset to the craft beer community and like I said if you're in San Diego stop by serve all liquors and, and uh, check them out uh, uh, they are uh, an asset to the craft beer community with that many beers in stock and the ratings on the website like they are it's a nice touch to see for me I appreciate it so let's get on with this one uh, like I said eight and a half percent alcohol I don't think I have an ABV listed for here. Uh, no, it does not. Commercial description says, Ale Smith and Cigar City have once again partnered up for our second coast-to-coast -coast collaborative beer, a delicious rye brown ale. Worn out and tug-tied from rhyming countless beer-centric names with rye, as we knew it was finally time to quit rambling on and figured rye baller. <laughs> Let's brew. The result is a rich, malty Rogan beer that is riddled with notes of chocolate, biscuit and that perfectly complement the soft spiciness of the rye. Grab a pint and toast to the coast. This balanced and complex brew pairs best with smooth cigars and lifelong friends. So I got my lifelong friend here tonight. She's uh, in there uh, whipping up some dinner. So we're going to share half of this with her and and see uh, see what she thinks of it when we come back for the final chug. But uh, no uh, no IBUs listed on this beer, so let's go straight over to the food pairings for this one. Cuisine is barbecue, cheese, earthy camembert, fontina, your nutty cheeses, Asiaco Colby, and Parmesan. And since it is a brown ale, it will pair well with some chocolate dishes. And the meat is beef, it says here. Glass rice, pint, becker, non tumbler, mug, stein, a side ale. Eight and a half percenter. I'm going to use the double glass. Uh, once we get above about 7%, I like using this glass. It really enhances the aromas. And it says not recommended for extended cellaring unless the ABV exceeds the average range. Well, the ABV does exceed the average range, but we're not going to cellar this one. We're going to drink it. So let's get the cap off of it. Nice hiss. Not overly hissy or overly carbonated, I don't think. We're about to find out. Into the glass we go. As far as I'm concerned, just the right amount of carbonation. Uh, about a finger and a half of head on that pour, semi-aggressive pour. And over to the light, it is a rich red ruby color. Very nice color on the beer. 
Mike's looking brown now in the glass. Uh, it is so dark I can't see whether there's a lot of bubbles. But it is very well carbonated. A nice khaki colored head on there. Mostly smaller bubbles around there. There are some bigger bubbles in the top. But it looks very creamy on there. So let's get a nose on it. Oh yes. Very nice rich roasty malt. There's some nuttiness to that smell. A little bit of chocolate going on in there too. Maybe some toffee and caramel or a hint of some dark fruit. Wow, I might have to fire up a cigar with this one. Yeah, Cigar City. Oh, it smells awesome, guys. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Donovan. Thank you, sir. In the taste, the rye comes out. You get that spiciness in the taste. Chocolate. Caramel, roasted malt, a hint of chocolate, bittersweet baker's chocolate. Definitely getting the rye in there. That's, that's nice rye spiciness to this beer. Very well made. This beer is delicious, guys. I have not been let down by anything that has A.L. Smith's name on it. Not had a single bad beer from A.L. Smith. Well, and teaming up with uh, Cigar City, they do some really good stuff. As far as I'm concerned, they're the best brewery in Florida. Hands down. Hands down. So, uh, very nice collaborative uh, uh, ale done by these two guys, or these two breweries. Very tasty, so I think it's about time to fire up a cigar. We're going to sip on this. It's already left an awesome lacing on the glass. Let the uh, uh, the other half have the other half of this. And uh, we'll come back in about 30 minutes and uh, do the final chug and see if there's any kind of dating on it. Because I know Cigar City and Ale Smith date their stuff, so and their bottle's sweating profusely. Uh, we'll check it when we come back and uh, see what we got with the, any kind of dating on the bottle. I sure hope there's one on there, but it's a damn tasty beer. I know I'm going to enjoy this. Stick around. I'll be right back in a couple seconds. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left, and it does have a bottling date on it. It is 04-10-14, April 10th of 2014. This was bottled. Uh, very tasty beer, guys. Uh, not disappointed by anything that Ale Smith does, and like I said, uh, not had too many bad beers from Cigar City. Most of the stuff they do is pretty tasty, so uh, let's see the final chug here. <sighs> nice rye spiciness to the smell and the taste of this beer. Nice caramel, roasted malt, little nuttiness, roasted malt, caramel, toffee, maybe a hint of dry, of dark fruit, a little bit of chocolate in there, a lot of stuff going on with this beer. Very, very nice collaboration beer between Cigar City and uh, Ale Smith. So, enjoyed this one very, very much, guys. Uh, it's got the bottled on date on the side of it there. I'm probably going to go against. Uh, the ratings and everything, but guys, uh, I think this is a nine beer. It definitely is a nine beer out of ten. It's very tasty, especially if you're into the uh, the brown ales. Uh, very tasty. Got a lot of stuff going on with this. Uh, uh, this may be a good candidate for cellaring just a little bit. Uh, I can't think of anything that would deter this beer from being cellared for a little while. So, uh, this one was done in April and we're here in July, so it's not very old, definitely within its, uh, its prime as, as I look at it. So, uh, very tasty guys. I, I, I did like this. So, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Let's go over to Beer Advocate and Beer Advocate says 87 in the good range, which I think that number is considerably low. 
uh, if I was putting a, n a numeric rating on this beer, it would probably be uh, between 97, well, between 96 and probably a 98 uh, in the beer scale as far as I'm concerned. So let's go over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 94 overall and 74 in a style. I don't understand that why they think it doesn't fit in the style. Uh, and of course, uh, Rate Beer is calling it an American Strong Ale, which is that's not what it is. So if they're rating it to be an American Strong Ale, I uh, would probably not rate the, the ratings that high, but that's not what the beer is. It's, it's not a, an American strong ale. So uh, it tells you in the description what they're calling this beer, and it it is a damn uh, American brown ale. It's 7.5 percent. But like I said, both of these sites uh, uh, have a lot of beer reviewers, unless it blows their hair back and their socks off, uh, they're not super impressed. And 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 this is. This is a decent beer, but it's, 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 it's not the best brown ale I've had, but it's a nice collaboration effort between these two breweries. So, uh, very tasty. I enjoyed this one thoroughly. Uh, so, I'm sticking with what I'm saying. Uh, uh, I think it's a 9 out of 10, especially since they have the bottle on date right on the side of it. Uh, we need we need more craft breweries to do that. We need them to step up to the plate and put that bottle on date on. I I'd much rather see a bottle on date rather than an enjoy by date. Because sometimes they'll have a three month uh, shop life, four months, five months, six months shop life on the beer, and I I really would rather have a bottle on date than an enjoy by date. But a date's a date, so we that's a good thing. It's better than no date at all. So. This is bottled on uh, April 10th, so uh, here we are in July. So it's uh, it's definitely worth picking up, giving it a try. I'm glad I, I got to uh, try this one. It is very tasty. So if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty damn tasty beer to me, guys. So uh, let me know what you think if you've had this one from uh, uh, Cigar City and Ale Smith. This is their collaboration. Uh, it's called Ramblin' Rye. Brown ale. So I don't know why they get an American strong ale out of that title. It tells you it's a brown ale right there on the damn bottle. Can't you read? Are you blind? All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up with this one. Let me know what you think if you've had it. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe the last one. I'm not sure yet. We're getting close to the leaving date for the trip to uh, uh, California. So uh, we'll see how, many, how much time we got left. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.